Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing part two of my bring it back video. So recently I talked about all the things throughout different makeup companies that I wanted to be brought back. They were either limited edition to begin with or they were products that got discontinued. In that video I mentioned how I could very easily do one just dedicated to MAC because MAC is notorious for either just completely discontinuing something out of the blue, which there's one in this video I'm very upset about, or having limited edition products that are kind of better than what their everyday products are. And that's kind of where I have an issue with MAC. I'm like, dude, why are these things limited? Do you know how well they would do if you just kept them in the permanent line? So today we are doing the Bring It Back MAC exclusive. So I'm going to start off with the number one thing that I am ticked off about because this has been recent and it's something that I've had in my routine for years and years. The MAC Marine Bright Softening Lotion. Yes, you heard it. If you didn't know that this was being discontinued before, well now you do. Somebody gave me a heads up in I think it was my skincare video and I was like, what? Are you serious? So the first time, like this one is the screw top, I had several of them and then they switched it over to the spray bottle. Now, I was thinking, okay, well they're just going to discontinue this again. They're gonna probably bring back this style bottle. But according to Mac, I messaged them and they said that this is being completely discontinued. They're redoing the line. I'm like, why? That was the one thing from like, the entire skincare line in MAC that I just, I can't live without. So I'm really, really sad about this. They still have them at Nordstrom, if you're wondering. So definitely grab them up if it's something that you use. So MAC, just go ahead and just bring that back, please. Next up, we have the Care Blend Powder. Why? Why was this discontinued? I do not understand. If you are a combo skin type, or especially if you are dry, this was the best thing because it's so velvety. It does not dry out your skin. It looks beautiful. I loved this powder. This is like one of my favorite touch-up powders. I love taking a sponge and going right around my nose with Care Blend because especially midday, it doesn't dry you out, it doesn't look cakey where you try to touch up, and they've done away with it. Why? Why? Speaking of powders, I'm sure all of you guys are right on board with this one. This is the Mac and Patrick Star Powder, so it's Patrick's Powder. I love this stuff. Now I do wanna make you guys aware. They already have a translucent set powder. I have the translucent one, but it comes in other shades. And from what I gathered, the ingredients look to be the same. So it should be the same powder. However, this color right here, it's like the perfect peachy kind of tone. I haven't seen any of the other colors in person. I just have the translucent one, but this one is so good. You've got so many people that will just continue to buy this. So I personally think you need to have this in your permanent line permanently. Let's talk about some lipsticks I'm upset about. Now, I only picked three, and these are the top three that I would like to be brought back, but definitely let me know down below what which ones are you missing. The first one is Glam, and they brought this back in one of their bring it, I don't remember, I don't remember what they call those collections, but they brought it back for a short time, and again, it's gone. This color is so pretty. It is the perfect in between. It's not too red. It's not too pink. It is so good and it's a matte formula. I've had this for so long and it still smells good. It's one of the things I love about MAC lipsticks. Like they have a great formula but they also take a while to go bad. The next one I think is going to be a favorite for a lot of you. Styled in Sepia. Oh, it is this mauve brownie taupey gray shade that's just perfection. It has to be a certain type of gray shade for it to not make me look dead, and this one does, or doesn't. It doesn't make me look dead. I love this one. And lastly, if you only brought back one of these, it, this is the one that I would want you to bring back. This is a Blaze, again, a matte formula. All of these are mattes. I have a special place in my heart for corally, it has to be slightly deeper. I don't like the really light corals, but this bright coral, I have such a special place for. 
This again, this is Mac Ablaze. It came out with one of the collection. I think it was the Mac collection. I don't remember. But I love this shade. I spoke about these in the last video, but I'm going to quickly touch on them again. The MAC Vamplify Lip Glosses. These are so good. If you want some pigmentation in your gloss and not just something you're going to throw on top of any lipstick, you can wear these by themselves. Such a good formula. They're thicker but not super sticky, but they're not thin either. One of my favorites, this is the one I have several backups of, this is Pamela, and this is from the Brooke Candy Collection. Just want you to see, like it's the perfect little doe foot. Again, it still hasn't gone bad, it's so good. And look at this pigmentation, look at it. It's so nice, like these are some of my absolute favorite glosses of all time. Like I would have these in every shade of nude I could possibly get, and that like coral shade. This one here, like look. Look at the pigmentation. That was Fab Tested. And then this one right here is Anything But Demure. Demure. <laughs> I so butchered that the first time. What's that? Like, they're so good. They're so pretty, you guys. I feel like they have this huge range in their permanent glosses. And I feel like you don't need all those colors. All those colors do not sell. How about you have like three different types and just some shades that sell? Like my tongue was getting so twisted. And this is case in point. So these were discontinued. These used to be in the permanent line, the mineralized glosses. This was a limited edition shade, but this one was permanent. I feel like the reason why these got discontinued was because they never came out with great shades. So there was a lot of pinky ones, but there wasn't nudes or things that people would wanna wear on the daily. So this one right here was like the only one in the permanent collection that I just absolutely loved. And this is Ray of Sunshine. I would wear this on top of my lipsticks and I would wear it by itself all the time. It's a non-sticky formula. It has just the right amount of pigmentation, so not as much as the Vamplify, this, I would say it's just a little bit less or right on par with their current ones, just not as sticky. So they feel so much more comfortable on the lips. And this one right here was from a collection. This is Lap Dog. And I wore this all the time. There it is, right there. I wore that on top of my lipsticks all the time. I had to stop because like I was making my videos and I would have this gloss on. I'm like, I gotta stop wearing this gloss because it's limited edition. And one more gloss. Rihanna's Viva Glam 2. Do you see this? Like it is so pretty. It's a gray, purple, pink. Oh my god, the glitter in here. Oh, it's so gorgeous. You're you're just not gonna be able to see it. Ah! But if you ever tried this color. It was so pretty on top of everything. It came out with like this grayish frost lipstick and it looked beautiful with that, but you could put this on top of everything else and it just has the most beautiful sheen to it. It's gorgeous. I currently have this on my eyes right now. This is one of my top palettes overall in my entire collection, one of the ones that I love the most. And this is the Say Chic palette. Again, it's all matte. And the formula in here is so nice. I love this palette so much. It's what I have on my eyes. I paired it with a pigment and a little bit of glitter. I just love this because you can get such great daytime, nighttime, whatever kind of looks you want. I don't feel like anything in here is repetitive. So like you're not getting a bunch of the same colors or anything like that. I just think this is one of the best palettes they had ever done. And in general, I want them to bring back the matte squared formula. So like Blanc, Max Blanc type was a matte squared. And then a lot of your favorite matte shadows were matte squared and they're gone. I'm like, I think that Blanc type is still in the pan, but all of the rest of them, they're gone and they need to come back. A couple more eye products. This is the pigment that I have on my lids right now. <sighs> this is Max Lily White. Oh, this is like Max Nylon, but with a more yellow undertone to it. It's so pretty. So there's it over top of my tattoo. It has just a beautiful shine to it. It's not sparkly, it's just a sheen. And it's so pretty. And then I've got two others from a Christmas collection. This one is Lith, or Leith, Lith, I don't know, Lith. It's something. <laughs> this is gorgeous. If you like, oh, like the tan pigment, 
how it has like those tiny little sparkles in it, but not overwhelming. This is so gorgeous. You're just, you're just not gonna be able to see its stunningness on camera, but in person, it's amazing. You can just wear this all over and it gives you a subtle sheen. So it's not gonna make your eye look crinkly or anything like that. And it's just a beautiful nude. And then also, ugh, English Gilt. English Gilt is this one right here. It's this beautiful champagne. If you pair these two together, you're just, you're done. It's amazing. Ugh, and this, oh, they made me so mad with this. So they got rid of the pressed pigments. They were in huge pans. I kind of understood that. We didn't use them very much. They came out with the dazzle shadows and then they made those permanent. So that was amazing. However, they messed with me because they brought out these singles at holiday. This one's a Regal Affair, so it's a smaller pressed pigment. And I have this, this is the glitteriness you see all over the lid, not in the inner corner, but just like all over. So it's a pressed pigment. And I just, just add these in. Just add a few of these in. You have a ton of shadows. You'll need to adjust some of your colors. Add these in, keep the dazzle, we'll be happy. So this is Regal Affair, and it's a topper. So it's not supposed to be like this you know, overly glittery thing. But you put this on top of any, anything, and it just looks stunning. It just gives you such a beautiful sheen. So I would love to see just a few of these brought back. Now I'm actually kind of pissed about this one too. This is Max Fluid Line in Rich Ground. If you are familiar with my channels like way back, I use this to death. This is a coppery red brown undertone in gel form. So I have found like a dupe for it, the Win <laughs> Linda Hallberg Cosmetics Whipple Flash, but it's not in gel form. I love this. Let me see if I can get a swatch. It's right here, but it just has like a sheen to it. I don't know if you guys can see, but you've seen it on my eyes a million times. It's one of the prettiest fluid lines or gel liners that they ever had. Especially if you didn't want to wear black, but you wanted like something, just a little bit of zhuzh. This was so good, it was so good. MAC Natural Hair Brushes. You guys, you don't even know how badly I miss these. And it's like, I know I have them in my collection, but I feel bad about using them on camera. I just don't think they did a good job with the synthetic line. I wish they had just added those in. I understand the whole concept behind it. I understand cruelty free and this and that. But at the end of the day, MAC still sells to China. So like, they're not going to be cruelty free in anyone's eyes until they stop doing that. So I'm like, <laughs> why, why did you get rid of my natural hair brushes though? Cause it makes me so sad. Your 217 synthetic sucks. Like it sucks. Also, if you ever decide to bring back my beloved brushes, could you please also bring back the MAC 226? It was a perfect, tapered brush. I actually got one from Chanel before they switched their brushes as well. And it's very similar, but I just want this brush. And I think I want it because it's not in my collection. And everybody loved it, but I, I don't have it. Like I need this brush. MAC 226, bring it back. Another one I don't have. MAC Stylish Mary. <laughs> Why did you feel the need to the same name? It's the same name, it's the same finish. It's an extra dimension eyeshadow that came out this past holiday and they named it Stylishly Mary. Why did you do this? I missed out on this beautiful eyeshadow. Everybody loves it. Kelsey went on a hunt for this shadow and she looked for me as well, but she was only able to get one. And uh, yeah, you already had Stylishly Mary. There is a permanent Stylishly Mary. This one, you could have at least been like stylishly married too, or something like that to have some kind of distinguishing feature. I, I'm just so mad. I'm just so mad. Bring it back so I can have it, please. Also, Silver Dusk Iridescent Powder. Another one I don't have in my collection, and it is time for you to bring that back because shimmery, radiant powders have become such a thing. They do have the Studio Gold Face Powder, but I want Silver Dusk in the Iridescent formula. I just want it. I need it in my life. I want to dust it all over my skin because me and radiant powders, we get along. So I'm going to need to see that. And that, you guys, 
is it. Did that feel like a rant video? I feel like I just went in like just mad about not having these products or not having the ability to get them again if I run out. You guys let me know. What are you mad about? What do you want to be brought back? I know I'm going to see Patrick's powder in there at least 30 times. At least 30 times. But I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Mac, hear me out. Just, just listen to me. Bring them back. We'll be friends. All right. Love you. Bye.